Yeah, Bob, this is Jimmy. Oh, I'll be over right away. So long. What are you doing with your ranchy's purpose? Oh, I was just putting a little on my handkerchief, Uncle Andy. Going gallivanting again, huh? You're too young to be running around night. I won't have it. <laughs> now, you see what you've done? What do they say at the lodge when I come in smelling like a daffodil? I'm sorry, Uncle Andy. I, I just... Boy, never seems to learn nothing. God, do I look smart? Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Rosemary, come here! I can't, I'm busy now. Oh, busy. Now, I'm late for lunch now. What for? Oh. Your hands. Ow! Oh, damn. Ow! Oh, Milam Bagel. What? Ow! Never did I get tangled up this way. and ring their young necks. Uh, oh, I've got to change my pants. Goodbye, Rosemary. I'm late for lunch. Why, Edward Clyde, what have you been doing with my perfume? I, I hit the ball by accident and it kind of squirted it all over. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye. Goodbye. It's an awful hurry just to be going to lodge. Why, what do you mean? I've heard strange stories about where men go on lodge night. Oh, I know. Men are terrible, but not my Andrew. Hmm. I wouldn't trust any of them any farther than a fleet you jump. No, serene. Very few of them go to lodge. Yes, me. Most of them go to those virtue shows to watch those brazen hussies kick their legs up in the air. I don't know what they've got that we haven't got. Excuse me. It might be for me. Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Clyde. This is Potentate Jones. Has Andy left yet? Well, he hasn't arrived here. Oh, I know he'll be there soon because he took the funds with him. Good night. So he's not at the lodge. We haven't had time to get there yet. <gasps> what did I tell you? He's at the Garden of Eden. So that's what the perfume was for. Well, I'll fix him. Not a mere impact. 
situation Not an overnight sensation This is real, it will Gee, she's a peach And it is what love When the symptoms so annoying You can make me or destroy me Sure. Come on back to the dressing room and I'll introduce you. I saw you flirting and I'm going to break somebody's neck oh, if you don't... Jake, don't be foolish. Boy's rich. This is business. Yeah, monkey business. And you better cut it out. Yeah, and you better put that mask down, Mr. Jailbird. Somebody's going to spot you. Well, they haven't spotted me yet. Come on, Jake. You're wrong. Let's get going. I've been suspecting you for a long time. Jimmy Slater. He was sitting right over there and he went backstage to Lola. Oh, my. I guess I'm too late. <laughs> I guess you are. Thank you. Here's how. So you like my uh, singing? I think you're swell. Jimmy! Your Uncle Andy's outside. What? I can't let him find me here. What do I do? Where do I hide? Feed it to the alley. I'll show you Uncle Grant. Uncle and I have come to save him from women such as you. What's your price? Oh, you do me a great injustice. My heart bled for Jimmy seeing him in this terrible place. I sent him home. I'm sorry. I apologize. And I thank you for Jimmy's sake. Goodbye. Oh. I can't blame you for thinking what you did, seeing me in a place like this. But please, sit down. It's a sad, sad story. Mother and I were starving. Starving? Yes. We were to be thrown out into the snow. We were alone and helpless in this cruel, cruel world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry, little girl. Don't cry. I never knew the comfort and strength in a father's kiss. Won't you kiss me just once? I better go. Oh. And if you could only pretend I'm your little girl, and I could say, good night, Daddy, good night. 